Hey, what's up everybody? It's another scorching day in Los Angeles. I think we're gonna get up to 100 again. I don't know, at least it feels like that. It's pretty crazy out here. Sweating even as I sit in the shade with a cool breeze coming through. So anyways, let me get to what the vlog is gonna be about today. Um, I'm gonna be talking about uh, seven pieces. Um, and these pieces are from, I think, the very, very, very beginning of when I started to put paint on canvas, um, before the abstract series, and just like, a period of time where I was just becoming comfortable with um, yeah basically putting paint on canvas because up to that point I'd done some other things with paint on canvas but not really in an exploratory fashion it was it was very specific it was very rigid um, yeah like letters and stuff like that and well I'll eventually get to show you guys those pieces and go through what was behind them but um, today like I said it's gonna be those seven pieces talking about uh, yeah what's behind them why they mean so much and yeah Let's have some fun with that. All right, so this is the first piece. Um, it's completely horrible, makes absolutely no sense to anybody except for basically me. Um, what it is is basically like this light blue paint, black and pink, um, using the white space of just like the canvas and stuff. And it's glopped on there pretty thick and heavy. And it like literally means nothing to anybody except for me because this was a painting, like, when I started it, um, I was sitting there in front of the canvas with the paint around me. I had these colors sitting around, I think, for a couple of weeks at this point, just trying to figure out what to do with them. And this canvas was sitting out there, and I was looking at it and thinking and thinking and thinking, and, you know, this moment of frustration, I'm like, oh, let me just get some paint out onto the canvas, and I threw this big black splotch down, and I was like, oh, man, I just love the way, like, if you look closely at the texture of it, this is kind of when I started with texture and loving that feeling. Don't mind the fly flies but I just glopped it on there and I was like okay now I've got this big black splotch on here like what's what's the point of it what's the purpose what's the meaning like why do I have it and I was like ah this is just my anger and frustration and I think that's when then I put down the blue and I was just like why am I putting blue and I'm like because I want to feel calm I want to feel this this blue and this black makes me angry and I'm ah, just like so frustrated and then I'm like but inside of all that rah, there's like this pink pink heart to this this uh, mind flowing through it so you have this mind kind of being like caught up in the chaotic turbulence of like this black surrounded by the calm and you see how far I'm reaching with this but this was kind of like what my mind was going through and I was so ignorant of technique and all this other jazz I literally just like <clears throat> right out of the tube onto here but I was strangely okay with it um, so anyways I finished this piece and threw it aside I'm like screw this like what's next and I'm like Man, I really loved how those colors came out thick and heavy. Sorry, this is shaky. My hands are a little shaky in the way I have to hold this for the mic. So I was just like, ah, oh, thick colors. I want to feel more of this texture. So I just like glopped down. Um, I can't remember, or maybe I started with a pink or something like that. I just felt like bubble gum to me as I like pushed it away, like pushed it out with my hands and stuff like that. And maybe it's, no, no, it's definitely green pink that I started with and then the blue and then the green. And, it was kind of that whole same thing of just like, I loved how that came together. And then as I was like starting to blend the sections together, like you see the colors like kind of like bleed into it. Like there's an underlying full layer of pink. And like with this one, like I loved how the green came together because it was like this slime from like that old Nickelodeon TV show that was just more of a solid form. And you see the same thing with like, it looks like the pink is kind of hiding underneath. And like why I chose these colors is just pretty much because I wanted to see what they looked like together. And for me, it was just texture, because I don't know if the paint is so that they used to be more on the side. Like, these things are definitely not sort of, no, this is the part that I was talking about. Just like overhang and stuff like that. And it was just so much that came out of this one. I was like, ah. But then I threw it aside. I'm like, this is too messy. This is just not pretty. This means nothing. How can I make it neater? And so I took those same colors and rebalanced them. And then you can kind of see like where this all balance came from. And like, it's so stupid and simple. Like when you put it up vertically as well, there's kind of like a stress stress bits in the corners from the weight of the paint that's sitting on here because it's once again like I love the textures of like how that gloppiness was looking like and feeling like so I did almost the same thing for here it was a little bit more controlled but like my mind was like why do I how do I put these together and I think I started with the blue in the center and then the pink and then I'm like where would I put the green like the, the green that needs to go in here where would it put be put to be balanced out and it was like these cool moments I was like what is going on and I just kind of like rolled with it because you know what none of these canvases mattered I mean they're like 12 by 12s and the paint is replaceable and it's like the whole purpose of me doing this was to get, was explore 
you know, and so that's what I kind of continued with that theme, like so rough and ignorant of so many things. But then I was like, wait a second, how can I be more specific about what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking? And so I'm like, let me do a self-portrait. And I'm like, I want to feel calm inside. And so I threw down this blue and I just like smooshed it out there. Like, you notice the textures on the blue are very calm. And, but on the outside of me, you see this tension, like I, the, everything is being irritated and agitated all at the same time. And that's what the yellow was to me. And when that smooshed over there, like that just accidentally splashed, I was okay with it because, you know, along the fringes, like the yellow, like that just impedes in or just like jumps in sometimes, even if you don't want it. And I was like surrounded by like this red because like these emotions are so strong inside of me. So I'm just like, ah. I was very frustrated, still am, but like at this point, I wasn't able to direct my feelings as, as like specifically as I am now, which is kind of a fun thing to be able to do. But like the ignorance of like technique and all this other jazz just allowed me to <coughs> spoosh it out. And so it was just like, how do I express myself? Like when people ask me how my day is going, how do I feel? Like how do I respond to that? From here, I kind of built up like this weird color scheme inside of my head of like what represented what, you know, kind of starting back here, like this one is unfocused on that. And this was more about like color balance, but this was about what color represents what. And so that transferred over from here doop, into here. And so this, this represents my day, how I feel like during the day, that calm little center blue, that's me. That's how I feel throughout this entire chaotic system of yellows and reds. Like it's so intense, like how, like the emotions run back and forth in me and like how much on edge I feel. I feel less on edge now, like I'm more focused, but it's like here it's just like scream. And that's what this painting kind of felt like to me. I didn't let myself get caught in conventions of anything. I just wanted to figure out how to express. So we go from a self-portrait to how I feel to suddenly like how I view the world. Like this to me was just like, what the hell? To most other people, it probably means nothing. But to me, it was like, okay, how do I see the world? And I see the world as I've got this inner, energy that is me like you can see the enervation from the other paintings i brought it over to represent a more controlled enervation inside of my calm surrounded by all that tension and anger and like this black suddenly became a representation of like a wall and how i put these barriers up so i've got this energy like fluctuating back and forth on the inside like so like i'm never fully calm inside and it's just like this is how i view the world these barriers are up and this is how i feel and this is my heart and it was so crazy to me because it was like you could see a progression, or at least I saw a progression, inside like what I was trying to get at and like trying what to feel. And the technique is just so, I get it, it's basic. And it, you know, I've discovered like the huge thing about art is context. And this art is powerful, at least to me, because in the context of my life means a lot. And it's like the same is true with all of these pieces. Like most people wouldn't really get like the beauty of them. They're like, Oh man, you just threw some paint on a canvas. Like this doesn't fucking mean anything, man. It's it's like that black square that sells for forty million, and it's just like people. It's about the context, like when you think about it all. And it's like they're they're kind of cool, you know, like graphic-y and stuff like that that could be used for like covers and art and all that other jazz. But you know, they, they, they mean a little bit more. And so this next piece, um, there's so much to say about it. Um, <laughs> Like, I used the representational, like, colorations and, and figures that I've been working on in the previous ones, and I took it to the next level of how I kind of, like, the world more likely is. And the thing is, is, like, I took the blue and the calmness and all that other jazz, it's, it surrounded me. Like, I feel like, you know, you see in this one, you have that red energy screaming, going, blah, 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 like, reviberating back and forth and just going, like, ah, continually keeping this yellow so there's no utter calmness. And it's just like on the outside, that wall, and past that, I have no idea. And really, when I th think about it, the worldview is more probably like this, with a bunch of calm and peace out there. I'm the one who's put up around this huge wall around what is my heart, basically. And so, like, you have, like, the symbolization of, like, symbolism of, like, all the different things that I'm kind of feeling in the development up to this point. And the series, about two, four, six, yeah, seven different pieces are all just kind of like this framework of stepping forward. And it's just like looking at how I feel versus like what the world view of how it more likely is and like how I'm protecting myself and the blues and it was just, ah, the stupid flies killing me on this. And you know, I, I love once again the texture like I went to with the pink on this one because I wanted to get that gooey feeling of like there's an actual heart or like me inside of all there. And the night that I painted this, um, I sent a bunch of pictures to my friends and stuff like that just to be like, oh man, look how crazy this is, all this other jazz. And so I sent them a picture of um, two 
two pieces like over like a, over the conversation. Well, five pieces over the conversation, but two stuck out to me as this weird fucking part of my friends with this weird like baseball bat to the head of like dude, dude, dude. And I was like, all of a sudden I looked at the first one that I did. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, blue, pink, black, white, yeah, cool. And then I looked at the last one. And let me put these side by side. There had been this weird evolution, I think, in my mind, like as I was painting. And it's really weird to think about, but it's like when you see something like this from the first painting here to the seventh painting here, using the same color scheme, concept, thought process, all of that had just evolved from one thing into another. And it's all super simple and like baby, baby technique and all that other jazz, but like to see that kind of in action, Sorry, I'm just like shaking up now. To me, it was just like a super cool thing. Sorry, I haven't been moving the camera around as much on this one. I've been really focused on just the words. But like even there's a, you can almost see a face in there as well, like a helmeted head. It's just like, that to me was this crazy moment. Because I had, moment, moment. Because moment. I had this one, you know, from the, the colors that came a little bit more in focus. But, you know, to see the progress from like that first blue, pink, and white to this one, to this one, to this, suddenly getting more focused in concept, to even more in concept, and then personalizing it, and then taking it all the way back to what I think the world actually is, and then just like knowing that I, the confusion from the beginning had focused itself into something a little bit more. And this is what really excites me about art, because it's like you can describe any meaning to art because it's, you know, interpretational and all that jazz, but it's like, to see it in your like own life as you do it is just crazy to me. So these are the seven paintings that basically introduced me into like expressing myself versus trying to represent something specific more on like that abstract. So I guess you could say these are original but in a completely different direction that I do want to go back to and it actually has come out in some of my works like there's definitely recurring themes that come from all some of these paintings into other pieces that I've done. So. All right, yeah, so these are the seven. Let's go back to it. So holy crap, am I tired after all that. It was only like 11 minutes of talking, but it was just like to relive those moments and, and just be like, whoa, that's what happened and like what I was thinking and know that that was real. Like, it's, it's exhausting, but it's just like, that's what art is. It's like when you really feel into it, um, it takes you on a ride and it, it exhilarates you and depresses you, excites you and like tantalizes you. And it's just like little, like I look over my shoulder cause that's where they're sitting right now. And you look at these little teasers of, you can see like the power of your subconscious, like when it's begin, when you begin to harness it. And uh, yeah, that's what I really love about art. It's like getting to see different aspects of yourself express themselves out or like show themselves or like jump out in like ways that yeah, just sometimes it's completely unexpected. Like you don't understand it until you go back and look at it later and see it in the wider context of something. So, all right, yeah, so that's my vlog for the day. Um, I hope you enjoyed hearing about those seven pieces. Those were pretty important in my collection. I'm glad I got this one done. Um, so yeah, the business part of, it, part of this, um, if you like my art and you wanna be a collector or uh, whatchamacallit, be a part of my journey, um, please head to my Patreon at I am Wessel. Um, I appreciate any kind of support there, um, whether you want to go for the art subscription service or just basically buy me coffee every month, or yeah, every month, which would be awesome. I love when people buy me coffee. Um, or if you want to get some of my merch, which is like designs like this one, or um, like my abstract art on bags and all this other stuff, this is really cool. Um, I'm starting to put out logo to work now, so I become more recognizable because that's what an artist has to do. Um, but go to imwessel.com if you want to get some merch there. Um, hit me up if you want a discount code. Anybody who's willing to go to my site to buy something, I will give you a discount. That's how much I love you all. Um, if you don't want to put any money down on my art, that's completely okay. Um, like, shares, comments are always loved. Um, it always helps. You know, it's like somebody says something nice to you. Like I did that today to somebody and they're like, holy crap, thank you so much. And words are very quick and simple to type and encouragement, like I said, is always appreciated. Or if you're not one of those people who participates, I really appreciate you stopping by and well, appreciating this. Um, yeah, so thank you everybody. This is once again, Wessel from Los Angeles. I'm signing off on a scalding hot day. We got, of course, blue skies and scalding hot freaking concrete. So I hope everyone has a great one.